here at I'm Martin Tyler Allen Smith is with me and our football today from the Premier League. It is the North London Derby, it is Arsenal against Tottenham Hotspur. The teams are very well aware of one another. I know from personal experience, if you're coming here on a Thursday it's a bloody difficult place to come. Obviously I'm a huge Spurs hater, but you... Hi there everybody, Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith and our match today comes from the Premier League. To level it up now, Messi! He's done it again! Read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Well we could get some news on the injury, I think Jeff Shrees is on the case. The problem seems to be his calf, but at the moment he's staying on. Cheers Jeff. If you have played FIFA for many years now, you have probably heard all of these lines in the game's commentary over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's because these lines are pre-recorded and are only ever updated in a few years. So you keep hearing them again and again. Now, what if we could have an AI do this instead in real time, on the fly and off the cuff? Which means every time we play the game, we can have unique lines in the commentary being said. So it doesn't get repetitive and boring. In this video, I wanted to share how we can potentially use an AI to make game commentary more natural and less repetitive. Before we start, I would like to thank Jonathan for some useful discussions surrounding this. So make sure you go check him out on Twitter. For this project, I'm using a football simulation environment that the Google AI team released recently. While it was introduced for the purpose of training reinforcement learning agents, we can use it for other purposes as well, like in our case for generating commentary. The beautiful thing about this environment is that it allows us to play the game step by step. And at each step, it gives us the complete information about the state of the game using OpenAI's Gym API. Information about the game's events like goals, free kicks, yellow cards and much more is readily available to us in Python code. This makes it easy to feed it to a language model to speak about these specific events during the game in commentary. Which brings me to the language model part of this project. I've used OpenAI's GPT-2 neural network which is something I have covered on my channel before in case you are interested to learn more about it. Basically, given a small text prompt about a certain topic, this neural network can generate long and random sentences regarding that topic, making it ideal for our use case in this project. By feeding the game's information as a prompt to this model, we can let it generate rest of the commentary. So, by downloading the English annotations of YouTube videos of FIFA and PES matches, I gathered the training data representing football commentary. Using this, I fine-tuned the pre-trained GPT-2 model to learn football commentary. Now, we can give game information as input to this model and let it predict rest of the commentary text. Using a text-to-speech engine, here's how it sounds like in the game. Take a look. Well, this is the Parc des Princes in Paris. Welcome to it to all of you. I'm Martin Tyler, and a big welcome to my colleague and friend Alan Smith. Paris Saint-Germain today involved in our match against Barcelona. I'll be keeping an eye out for those runs towards the near post from Edinson Cavani. He loves to get to corners in front of defenders. United bringing on Brandon, and 10 minutes remaining in this goal, whatever you think of Wayne Rooney it's a good goal, and shows what he's made of when he's been on top of the world today you can't really play better than that against Barcelona well all credit to them they've got the lead they're leading they've got themselves back in it it's a bit of magic from the players. These were some of the relatively better examples, but in some cases, the model can be way off topic and seem like total gibberish in context of the game. That's a free kick. Look at that. Referee points for offside. Well, that's going to be a difficult goal for the opposition to handle. Well, they made the mistake of bringing the ball out too soon and allowing the defenders to get ahead of the play. Well, that's a goal for them, despite the onrushing defenders. 
Most of these issues can be addressed by fixing two major mistakes in my approach. First is, we need to provide a lot more context as input to the model, like a full game summary and a short term detail of what event occurred. Second, it requires more diverse training data than what I have used here. While it was out of scope for me to cover these for this video, I highly encourage you guys to take a look at the open source GitHub repository for this project and collaborate in order to make it better. That's all for this one. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you want to collaborate for any future projects that I might work on for this channel, feel free to reach out to me at my Twitter handle or leave it down in the comments below. See you again next time.